Here we have a trio of brand new 118th scale action figures from Boris Ping Toys. And as far as I know, this is the first series of the first wave. I don't believe there have been figures before this. I heard that there are figures going to be coming more figures in a series two later. But this is the first three in the series from this company. And I picked these up simply because I thought they looked really cool. So we are going to look at these together. It looks like they have a lot of accessories and some swappable items. It's interesting that the packages only say AK-18 pre-assembly kits for 118 scale action figure. There is no like name. It's not like this character has a name or this one has a name or that one has a name. I will flip this around so you can see with the back, they all look the same. And even up here, it says pre-assembly kits for 118th action figure. It is a kit per uh, is a kit product developed by individual hobbyists for the 118th action figure customization. All parts in the entire series are interchangeable. It can also be compatible with most popular 118th scale action figure products on the market, allowing players to fully unleash their imagination and creativity. You can use these kits to create any character you like, and they've got a series of cross sales, but I don't know that, I think this is like the only one, which is this one over here, that's available. Let's see, if I look at that one, then, I mean, the outfit of this one kind of looks like this one. The hairstyle looks like this one. So maybe if you buy multiples and you swap the parts and you can make some of these figures or something off, but I don't know. Beyond that, let's get these figures out of the package and take a look at them. We'll begin by taking a look at the accessories because a lot of them are actually pretty similar. These ones belong to the blue shirted female. And what's interesting is one of the accessories is a typewriter. And let's get this to where you can actually focus in on it a little bit better here. I had to switch out from my macro lens so you can see these, but that's a typewriter and that's kind of interesting. Never seen an accessory uh, that's a typewriter before. Then we have this little handgun. Then there's a knife. Let me just get a pointer here because everyone loves my X-Acto knife pointer. This is a flashlight. And the flashlight actually has silver interior to where it actually looks like a flashlight. That's really cool. Then you've got this harness here that will go around the shoulders. And a leg holster for this item right there. And you can swap out the hairstyles. If you look inside of here, if you can see that, there is a little bit of a peg in there, which will go into her head. <laughs> I mean, and we get three additional sets of hands. Uh, the figures already have like a C cup, a C shaped hand, but you get a set of fists and what I'll refer to as a set of colorful language hands, as well as a set of hands that are the peace symbol, you know, the two fingers. And you have left and rights of each of these. Now, each figure comes with the same exact set of hands, so I don't necessarily have to show those to you. And all of these are on a horizontal back and forth uh, hinge, as far as I can tell. Looking at this one, actually, this one, the colorful language hand, does not actually have a hinge at all. It's just going to peg right into the arm. The white shirted female has the exact same gun uh the brown shirted female i mean, let, let's just move the camera over here to the next set so you could see actually we can do that and you can see all of them so these are the accessories for the brown shirted female right there and then these are the accessories for the white shirted female it's the best i've got at the moment but uh She's also got a typewriter over here. She has a pony style uh, swappable hair, a leg holster, a knife, flashlight, same set of hands. She has a slightly different gun. And then this one, the white uh, shirted female, has a frying pan, which is kind of a neat uh, little accessory. Look at that. It got the, even got the lines in there for it. Uh, it's got the handgun and also has, I'm guessing... I can't really say it on video here, but I think you can see exactly what this is. And this is not a champagne bottle that is losing some of the inner liquid. I, I think it's uh, something else. You can see the same set of hands there. 
a leg or a thigh holster for this gun right there. There is a helmet right here. And a, let's see, these are so small. And then a mask that will attach, you can see has uh, little holes right there, will attach to this helmet. And so then we'll mask the face. All right, let's get re reposition and let's directly look at the figures. All right, so here we have the three ladies and you can see that they're out of the package and I'll flip them around so you can see the fronts and the backs of them. So you can kind of get an idea of what they look like and what how they're built, the, what their build is. So right there, there's the back. So let's take a look at this one right here. I'll set these two off to the side and I do have all their accessories just barely off camera so we can uh, if we need to we can take a look at some accessories with them so the head rotates back and forth very easy she can look up she can look down so that's pretty good arm rotates all the way around and will lift about her hair is a little funky about that high up I guess we better back her up there just a little bit more there is a uh, arm or a bicep rotation double pinless elbow and you want to be careful i mean these are very these are very i wouldn't say fragile joints but they are delicate joints for sure and then there is a rotation at the wrist there's a torso cut so she can uh lean that far and lean that far and let's I'll talk about uh, some good things and bad things here in a minute she can kind of lean forward that far it's a little deceiving here she can lean back that far the arms and the the arms and the neck are gonna kind of throw off that visual of course she can uh, rotate there uh, she can't really rotate down here at the waist. I think this is all one piece. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Her skirt has some splits, or I guess on this left side has a split. So she can bring up her left leg further than the right leg. If you want her to sit, well, that's about as far as she's going to go. If she's leaning forward, that's about as far. Kind of visually deceiving. There you go. Double pinless knees so she can uh, kick her knee back that far there is no rotation at the boot no rotation at the thigh and at the ankle there is a hinge and a pivot and she can uh, easily go back say that far but only go forward about that far and then of course there's this pivot right here now this figure over here has an additional point of articulation that these the brown one and the blue one i'm going to refer to them as their shirt colors uh this one has an additional point of articulation that these two don't have and that is a toe hinge so look at that so that's really interesting these figures are getting very close to six inch scale 1 12th scale articulation I would say that all these figures are missing would be a thigh cut a, let's see yeah boot cut because this one doesn't have it either and probably butterfly joints you get you get those three added into these figures and wow you've got uh, some really highly articulated figures now since we've got this one in hand I'll point out something I'm not a huge fan of and that is the ankle area the foot and the boot are separate pieces so like this slides around kind of a little bit and so you see the skin color ankle through that and I'm not a huge fan of that I don't I don't really like that because it kind of breaks up it, it looks weird to me and so I really don't like that you might be able to push this down enough but that still that joint is going to be visible and I'm not a huge fan of that one thing I'm noticing is you can hyperextend their legs really easily. So you can see those legs there. You can see how, how far this one goes. That's uh, quite a ways. I'm not sure if it's that uh, 
this knee joint wasn't created with stoppage in mind or because it looks like there's gaps right here when I'm looking at these knees and they just go like crazy far forward. So you might want to be careful manipulating the legs so that you don't like maybe break them on accident because of that. If one recommendation I would give this company is, you know, fine tune the knees so that you don't hyperextend really crazy. I mean, these are these are really almost great figures. <laughs> <laughs> I say almost really great figures. <laughs> I mean, I'm not knocking them. The design is really cool. These look, visually, they look really cool. And so any critiques that I have in this video is just because I want you to make better figures because I want to buy better figures from you because I want to keep buying figures from you. Uh, so if you happen to see this video, yeah, that's really cool. So let's look here. So you can take off her pigtails and I hope that doesn't scar you, I mean, she doesn't have hair now, but you can see that there's a peg there. Now, my figure has something kind of odd. There's like this black paint piece on the right side of the head, and I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's an accident. Either way, I'm actually glad to know that either way, that is hidden. i got to figure that out here. Once the hair is added on, the correct way it is hidden come on this is not wanting to hook on um there we go got it hooked on so you can see over here you the the paint is not visible on the side of the head so let's get her standing for a second i'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit so we have a little bit more room so it's not nearly as claustrophobic feeling for you but uh, I don't know I like this hair sculpt on this head so much better I think she looks really good this way not as big of a fan I think it goes whichever way it goes <laughs> I'm not as huge, large of a big of a fan as the pigtails I think this looks like a really nice hairdo on this figure I think it's cool and for anyone who is curious, this is all a single molded top. Nothing comes down or slides down. Uh, I know it's sometimes the uh, figures from overseas, they have different forms of, of build, but uh, this entire top is all molded on. However, that's not the case with the skirt. The skirt will in fact slide off if you're gentle and let's see if I can gently slide that off and then you can see what the figure would look like without it uh-huh it's not an easy thing it's not gonna just uh, slide down on you so if you want to slide the skirt off you might have to heat things up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Give it a good little tug. All right, now it's coming down. Got to get it over the, uh, you know, the, the back end side there. There we go. All right, so that's what the figure looks like with the skirt off, uh, from the front and from the side and from the back. And I have to say, you know, think compared to some female figures from some lines, this actually looks pretty nice. So we will, uh, and the reason I'm pointing this out is like, if you wanted to put these jean shorts from this one on, you could slide these jean shorts off and slide them onto that figure. She's got a, a belt here that could slide down. Just use those fingernails. And then once you slide this belt and holster or ink, uh, thigh hold, holster thing, you can slide it right off like that. And then if you wanted to, you could slide these jean shorts off. And maybe we shouldn't, just in case YouTube thinks um, I'm showing something that I'm really not. But anyway, you could slide these jean shorts off and slide them onto this. So then this figure could have the jean shorts. So that's one 
uh, benefit of being able to swap some parts. So I think for the rest of the video, I should uh, go ahead and slide, slide this back on. What do you think? Interesting. It looks like maybe, uh, huh, anyway, uh, we'll see if I can slide these back on. And if anyone has these figures or have dealt with these figures and know of a better way to take this skirt on and off, I don't know if, I don't know, let's see, can we pop these legs off? Oh, look at that. We can pop the legs off. Okay. So that would most definitely, and if you want, you could, we could take a look. This is the construction of this figure right there. So that's kind of cool. And we can definitely, I can definitely point out now that there is nothing here at, there we go, at the waist, no rotation or anything. And so because of this, um, actually it would probably be best to pop this figure off. I don't know if I should pop this figure off and then slide down like so. So yeah, you can pop this stuff. I mean, it talks about uh, customizing, right? So there we go. And we got it back on. And then they're very, uh, very uh, long looking legs, we'll say. So right now, trying to customize figures on this channel. Okay. Let's see. I'll pop this leg on, maybe. Come on, we gotta get the leg on. As you can see, they're they're pretty good. I I haven't had to warm any of these figures up. Just be real gentle, be real careful. These are a little tricky to under this skirt to uh, <laughs> maneuver the the legs on. <laughs> Not to sound horrible. Looks like there's a little bit of a paint rub now on that leg there. But all right, so the legs are back on. I would say just be careful uh, manipulating these figures around because I'm thinking that doesn't quite look right. I'm <laughs> thinking this was a little bit lower on the figure. Anyway, probably uh, probably that's where we'll leave it for now. Um, whether it looks good or bad or not or whatever, we'll just leave it there. And I might just cut that whole section out. I don't know. The leg, uh, yeah, it kind of works. All right, so let's uh, let's be done with her, right? But anyway, so that's articulation and uh, moving parts and things around. Let's see. So this one does does not have this figure does not have the ability to remove her hair. It is all molded on. But this mask, or this helmet, not mask, goes on. And so, I'd say that this is a fragile piece right here. Just because it's a very thin chin strap that doesn't seem to come apart. Did I even do that right? I might have done that wrong. Oh no, I think I did that okay. And then this will hook on. Yeah. This will hook on, and then she's got a mask, like so. And what you could probably do is if you want this one or this one to have the mask, you could probably just stand you. Stand. Stand. Yeah. All right. Uh, you could probably pop off this head and put it on those bodies, and then you could have this mask on there. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the mask. I think the figure looks just fine without the helmet and the mask, but, you know, some of you might like the mask, so, you know, that's all good. Uh, let's see. So, these figures, let's see. They look like... I don't think this figure, or any of these figures, the hands have a trigger finger. I think they just hold the guns, like your old style 80s and whatever figures. They just wrap around 
the uh, the handle there because I don't see. Uh, let's uh, swap out a hand. Let's try to be gentle. All right, so let's do this one. I chose the wrong one. Wait. Yeah, that's that's definitely the wrong hand. We're going to. Oh, this looks like this. These fingers kind of got messed up or put in the package wrong. So like <laughs> holding that and then throwing that up. Yeah. Peace, bro. Peace. Peace. And we'll pop that off. And we'll put one of these on. I know there's a lot of people out there who seem to like these. These ones. And wish that all figures came with one. Gotta be careful. This one wants to uh, twist on me a little bit. That's about as far as I'll take this one. But... Uh, That's kind of what that one looks like. And we'll pop this off and grab a fist over here. It's interesting that hand. There we go. Arr, don't mess with me. Arr. <laughs> a fisted hand there. Fisted hands are good. I like fisted hands. So anyway. Let's take this helmet off so you can pry it, pr not pry it, but just peel it off there. I'm not really sure how they expect you to hold the keyboard. I don't think, or the typewriter, or the keyboard. I don't think uh, the keyboard, I don't think the typewriter is meant to actually be held by a hand. So I guess you would put her at a desk in front of a, a typewriter. I don't know. Is that right? Is that really what they would expect with these? And I, oh. Let's uh, swap out this other head sculpt, or this other hair piece. So the brown shirted one has a short do out of the box. Pull her hair off. You can see it's the same kind of hole. It's like a backwards D. So we'll tuck this on. You've got some little strands down here. You want to be careful sliding those on. This kind of just hooks into place. When it's hooked, it's hooked. I actually like this one I think a whole lot better so so that's what this figure looks like with the other hair sculpt now of course the same thing the belt and side holster will, will is removable and these jean looking brownish red jean shorts are also removable so if you want her to have this color of jean shorts you could swap them and that would be good and it looks like it's possible that this figure has the same torso as the blue one over here, just with like a jean. Oh, wow, she popped off real easy. Wow, look at that. She's got some really, really good abs there. We'll put the, uh, the lower body there. <laughs> kind of sounds wrong. Kind of sounds bad. I don't know if you can actually, uh, if the arms are meant to be brought out. Probably not very easily, because all I'm doing is twisting the bicep. Oh, the head pops off real easy. So, let's see. I would think you could remove this jacket. So, it must be you're going to need to uh, remove the, the arms. I'd probably get some heat to remove these arms and then you might be able to slide the torso out of this red jacket so if you wanted well she's not going to wear the red jacket because she's got a nice molded on shirt but if you want to, i guess put this red jacket on the blue maybe completely swap out you could have the blue shirt under the red jacket take the skirt and swap out that that might be something um she's got uh Actually, it's kind of disturbing. Let's put this back on. Now, let's put the head back on. Sorry about the longer video. I just kind of, when I want to talk about stuff, I talk about stuff for a while. So, she looked like, um, under these shorts, everything is skin color. Do with that what you will. This one actually looks like 
you've got some black paint. So let's go ahead and pull off this belt. And let's take a quick peek, as it were. And, oh, I mentioned that this one has a little skin gaps between the tops of the boots and the feet of the boots. You can see there still. These two figures have calf-high boots, and they are painted and molded. There is no gap, so these look really good. I'm wondering if this is like an older designed figure, and maybe these are some of the newer ones? I don't know. Maybe these are the older ones, and that's a new one. But there is some definite uh, design differences here. So I'll just kind of begin this process. So yes, there is definitely uh, some black paint back here. So we'll go ahead and... Uh... Oh, actually, the paint is only... <laughs> the paint is only on the legs, not this middle torso. So I guess I better... Uh, guess I better pull these back up. <laughs> so YouTube doesn't think... Uh, I think something's going on here in this video that really isn't going on in this video. <laughs> so anyway, these are the three Boris Ping toys... Uh, AK-18 ladies, I guess I will refer to them as. I don't know why she's separate, but there we go. There they all are. I think these are actually pretty cool. There's definitely a few little things that I think could be fixed, corrected, updated. But overall, I think they're heading in a very good direction. Uh, here's a little side note here. This one's got a backpack on. I just now kind of noticed it. It doesn't look like it's attached, so if you can somehow remove these arms. You can easily pop the head off. You could probably then take this backpack off if you wanted to. So uh, that's a little side note. But anyway, I, I like where they're going with these. I want more. I think these look really good. And it sounds like I'm about to wrap up this video, and I kind of was, but I just remembered I was going to do some height comparisons because I looked over here off to the side and realized, hey, look, there's a whole pile of figures that I set there for height comparison. So the first height comparison I will bring in, Marauders, Marauder Gunrunner. And let's set you back here, and we'll set you back there, and we will compare these two. Unfortunately, I don't have any boss fight figures available. They are kind of packed away off into a spot where I can't reach them at the moment. So as you can see, Marauders are just a little bit taller, and I would wager to a, a good bet and say that Boss Fight Studio is probably pretty comparable to that right there. Let's pull out here a male Marauder figure. It's actually kind of funny. It looks like the female Marauder figure might be taller than the male Marauder figure. Let's get you way off, way off get you all centered more you can use these all together very well and then we've got agent helix from gi joe lines li i was just gonna say something that kind of sounded like a line but no anyway modern era ish agent helix and then we've got a sergeant stone so that's about where gi joe modern ish size articulation fits in at so i would say figure works quite well with these gi joe figures and just for kicks and for fun here is a zyka o-ring a riot trooper or right commando i think it's right commando so you can tell it she probably wouldn't fit in with the o-ring figures very well she's a little bit taller and yeah he's bulky he is just bulky and i've got a fortnite figure right here and that's about what a Fortnite figure would look like. So I think very comparable. So I think these figures will will work really well for pretty much any modern styling 118th figure scale. So Boss Fight, Chicken Fried Toys, uh, Eagle Force, Marauder Gunrunners, G.I. Joe, any of those stuff that are modern 118th figures, probably not so well with the Haya Toys G.I. Joe figures, if you happen to want to put them there. But I think, you know, these are really cool figures, and I hope they just keep getting better and better, because this is a great beginning. Definitely not flawless. There are some issues, but 
when you've got some issues, you've got nowhere to go but up. And I'm excited to see Wave 2. I've been seeing sneak peeks online of Wave 2, uh, potential Wave 2, and they look really good, and I'm already all in for those. So I hope they're better. I hope maybe Wave 3, Wave 4, maybe that's where we'll start seeing some improvements. But, you know, I can deal with these small little things for right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.